boom okay and here we go so we're back today with another video for tournament guide book um a book by vishnu warrior who we're gonna have him on the stream to talk about the book coming out anyway right so this is for the youtube channel and we are um today we're covering uh another one tournament guide book from uh, axioms one-liners and mantras and this today we're looking at um the queen is a heat seeking missile the queen is a heat seeking missile where did that come from that came from grandmaster daniel king the english grandmaster actually said that now this game right here is a nice illustration about a heat seeking missile i think about that what is a heat seeking missile does what it can just go anywhere that it wants to at any time and of course it's, it's attracted by the heat or whatever and it's a seeking missile and it seeks and it destroys right we know this the queen can actually do that and let's see that in today's game now today's game who we going over here is rashid i'm not even going to try to pronounce the middle name but the last name is nejmedinov right I have to say that like very nice and slow till you get it correctly right but that middle name not even gonna try but rashid here with white playing lev aronin i mean <laughs> hey look i don't know yo yo oh wow wow hold up big boy ray from the man himself wow sheesh wow wow and there is a raid from Ben Fingo, bro. I appreciate you. Thanks, man. Thanks for the raid. Y'all just in time. We literally just starting the analysis right now. Sheesh. I know, Turtle. Right. We starting the analysis right now. So stick around. Of course, hit the follow button. Uh, and we about to uh, get this analysis for the YouTube right here in the chat. You can subscribe to the YouTube. This is where we're going to post this analysis we're going over right now. The Queen is a heat seeking missile. That's what it's called, of course, from uh, Daniel King, Grandmaster. Right, Dan Grandmaster. So, with that being said, here, White is Rashid uh, Nej, Nej Medinov. Nej Medinov. The middle name, again, we ain't trying to pronounce. Then against Lev Aronin. That's kind of weird. It's kind of funny, right? You got Levon Aronian in these days, in these times. And then you got Lev Aronin back then. And I'm talking about back then because this game was in 1953. 1953, Lev Aronin, not Levon Aronian. So I don't know what the simulate. Something's going on there. Something going on with Lev Aronin and Levon Aronian. It definitely, there's no coincidence there. But whatever, this is the game right here. This is the game. We come from a bench. A, a batch of oh yeah yeah, yeah. Kasparov jokes yeah. Kis yeah yeah let's not man look rest in peace okay R.I.P. and uh, but at the same time um you know he just had a tough one right he was a little rusty but he's all good you know he gonna bounce back uh, dumb strong he's Levon James now Levon James right oh man so this is the game this is the game right here he had a crazy life wow yeah really G Peter I'm actually check that out so all right here here's the game right so here's it is here it is boom E4 and then c5 so we got a cecilia and of course this is always interactive so for you in the chat right there make sure you paying attention and make sure you put some some uh, moves in the chat if there's something you actually see here or you understand or you think you know what it is so after c5 here of course knight of three boom now after knight of three there's d6 and now after d6 can you guess this next move not the not the usual so i'm gonna i'm gonna give you this right now this is not the usual Cecilia you used to d4 right I, and in fact this is a pretty cool game because it's actually showing you different ways you can play against the Sicilian this is not the regular Sicilian you used to so this is different ways you can play we got King e2 from b swizzle wow you know what King e2 wow I, try it let me know what happens in your game and then come back let me know and I will I'll try it afterwards, depending on what the results are. Alapin is the best. His pen is awesome. It should be five check. B3. Sicilian Bon Cloud. Man, cry. Try it. Stop. C3 Cecil for the kill. Right. Well, in fact, what happened here was G3. So shout out to the G3ers out there. Yeah, we called you a G3er. Correct. But these G3s are very nice because you can finch out of the bishop. And actually, you do not actually tell black what you're doing. So if you're looking for something different, from the regular Sicilians, the C3 Sicilian, the D4, even the Bishop B5s, right? The Czechs, the Rosalimos, the Moscows, 
the different ways, even the bolder attacks with bishop c4, right? You, it delayed, you know, even delayed wing gambits, all kind of stuff. You can go for this solid, literally g3 system that you can play against every single Sicilian. So it's actually something pretty cool. Now, some type of King's Indian, it's a very flexible way of playing, uh, Dante. You can actually even do b3 with a double finchetto setup and even go into some type of English. Very, very cool. So after g3, there was knight to c6 from Lev Aronin. Lev Aronin and Levon Aronian. Crazy. So knight c6, bishop g2. And after bishop g2, there's bishop g4. So very aggressive move already. Just intentions are clear here. Look, I'm trying to get rid of this. Maybe put some pressure on you this way and this way kind of move. All right, white to move. Obviously, h3. We're going to kick this bishop because you need something to do. Then he plays bishop h5 to kick that boy back. And now, okay, white to move. Chat, what are we doing? How do you finish this up? What's the next move? You know, very simple here. You know we have to develop. We have to castle. King safety. Make a plan. What's, what do we do? G3, we in here. It says Jeff O. Hello, hello. What's up? Cali Gambler. G4 from Fall Off God. That's very aggressive, but definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility. In fact, Rashid chose something else. Knight C3. Should you trade your bishop or knight in those pins? In fact, you should not. Um, bishop takes f3 would be very bad. It just releases the tension immediately, and I have no problem at all with white here. This is exactly what I wanted. That's why I played h3. To question you, give me the bishop pair. The bishop pair is an advantage. Do Leveronian and Levonaronian come from the same country? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not the only one out here that want to know that. Okay. Alex Jordan. Yeah, I know. I know. So bishop takes f3 is not a move, though. You should not do that. So h3, bishop h5. The move actually from uh, Rashid here was d3. d3. Very simple, easy. Still haven't told all of my intentions yet. In fact, in some cases, I can even castle queen side. I have not told black yet what I'm doing. It's always very, very big to have options and be flexible in your game. So try to do that when you're playing. Be flexible, have a little bit of patience, and things like that. Thanks for the follow, Pierre2501. So... All right, after d3, there's e6. Very simple here. And really, you know, I really like this because he shows a lot of flexibility in this game. Like, you really don't know what white... There's a lot of moves that white can do, but let's see if you can choose it. Because honestly, many people would not probably make this move as white here. Maybe, maybe not. But what you got, chat? White to move. We got c3 from one chess. Pawn c3, he says. Leveronia was from Soviet Russia. Absolutely. Leveronin. Bishop g5 from Dante. We got Bishop g5. Knight d4. Oh my goodness. Phantom Master Clendrick. Don't do that to yourself. Store Scrider. Knight c3. We got c4 with d shot. d2. I'm assuming that's a knight. Probably knight d2. Reverse Black Lion. You can. You can do some reverse Black Lion. But the bishop's on g2. So you actually more King's Indian attack. b3, bishop b2 styles and stuff like that. Bishop e3. That is correct as well. But in fact, the move here, believe it or not, knight a3 to reroute it after c3. That's an interesting way, actually. Uh, no nonsense here. Knight a3, c3, knight c2. That's a way to play. Rashid did knight to c3. Knight to c3. It was kind of strange, right? Like, you know, now you put the knight out here. And usually knights work best behind pawns, not in front of them. So when you have both of them here like this, this is usually tough. For instance, black has the pawn, the knight behind the pawn, and not in front of it like both of my knights are. Usually the exception is the king's knight. But we have both of our knights here, which indicate we're not pushing either of these anytime soon. So our central control isn't as hard or as good as it can be. So it's something to pay attention to. Castles was a little bit better, according to the engine. But uh, knight c3, that's what Rashid, Rashid chose. Rashid chose, and this was a 1953. So, right, knight to c3, bishop e7. He just developed. All right, bro, just developed. Urso chess, thanks for the follow. FCM, thanks for the follow. What's up, man? Welcome. So, all right, bishop e7, and then castles from Rashid here. Easy. Castles and bishop f6 with the intention of playing knight e7, castling, eventually playing d5, and I want to already be here to give you some pressure. Pretty cool stuff. Now, after bishop f6, again, it, like, this game will kind of throw you off. How he, like, maneuvered stuff. And it's just not the usual way you would play things. This is why keeping your options open are, is 100% correct in every, so every every single one of your games. It's why it's a move here. Chat, where do we go? 
Bishop f6 happens. Your move. You got a lot of moves here, it seems like. Lots of moves. And in fact, that's crazy. Rashid was so strong, bro. Like he played the number one move right here. Literally the number one move. <laughs> this was 1953. He played the number one move. G4, D4. D4 is very, very bad. In fact, you all chess is simple map. Maybe not terrible, terrible. You do have some knight b5 action in there. But this pawn is hit, you know, three separate times, my guy. D4, A4. A4 expansion, stopping b5 action. Bishop f4. I mean, maybe, I guess. I guess, Dante. Knight b5. It not, it's not doing anything on b5. Swap 42 with the two months in advance. Appreciate you, bro. Let's go. Wow. King e2, actually, it's not a move. I don't know what board you looking at there. Maybe you meant h2. Or maybe you meant queen e2. But that's okay. That's okay. Rookie one, we got g4. G4 is definitely a possibility as well. G4 is, in fact, the secondary move here. But no one said it. And here's the move here. And this is a really strange one, right? Not strange, but like different. 92. He actually rerouted. So not only did he first off stop the pin from happening. So now this pin's not here anymore. Secondly, I'm stopping bishop takes c3, crippling my pawns. Now I can't have, you know, some compensation on a b file looking pretty good there. And I grab the bishop here. I'm not tripping. But at the same time, um, you know, I, I, I don't want to allow it. I don't have to. And this bishop is strangely misplaced here. Especially if I like rook b1, right? This bishop kind of just sitting here hitting air. That's what they'll say in chess here. Hitting air. Bishop b2, continue development. Yep, rook e1. Next, c3 or knight f4. Yeah, knight f4 is actually another move that can happen. Literally forcing me to grab the bishop pair here. So black at this point says, okay, knight f4 is really strong. g4 as well could happen with knight g3. Black didn't like this, so he traded. Thank you. Appreciate it. Easy move. And then knight g to e7. Right. Knight g to e7. You should feel it. Yeah, it's your own fault. Damn, very good, Dr. Dr. Harm. Right. And actually, g3 was the was the move uh, afterwards. Sorry. Sorry, not g3. A bishop takes knight g to e7, and then bishop back to g2 is what I meant. So he moved it back, which is a pretty cool move here. Let's look at this again. There's many moves you can make. And let's actually see what the engine says. Yeah, Rashid was dumb strong, okay? I mean, again, the number one move in this position is bishop g2. And what did he play? In 1953... Bishop G2 <laughs> this was dumb strong, but after Bishop G2, um, F4 obviously is a is a threat. You can you can play G4, G5. You still need to continue and complete development with moves like C3, Queen C2. But after Bishop G2, D5 attacking and striking the center. Now, chat, what are we doing? Do we take it? Do we not take it? Do we finish development? What is the move, chat? Does anyone know? Kind of wrong. Ranking? Yeah, that's a good question, Dr. Harm. Bishop g2, activate queen. So the bishop is on g2. I don't understand what you mean by that, though. Snap the pawn. c3, take it. Thanks for the follow, wind, wind rider. f4, knight c3, take. Taking. In fact, taking is the move. Bang. There you go. Appreciate it. Capture those. You want to keep this scope going. How good is this bishop right now? Think about that. How good is the bishop right now? Not really that good. So, in fact, f4 is a move you can make as well. But you just want to keep the scope alive. I actually do have the bishop pair. So, trades will help. Usually, when you open up the game, the bishop pair will be a little bit better. So, e takes d5 makes total sense. He takes d5, knight takes d5, so I don't have any, like, weaknesses, hanging pawns, isolated pawns, things like that, and, you know, make it a little bit better. Put the knight in the center, okay, a little bit more space. White to move? Come on, chat, what do we do now? Silent king h1, stop. dq, thanks for the follow. Knight at four from fall of god. Just George, what's up? Sheesh. c4, knight at four. c3. Rook B1. I like Rook B1. I am a fan of Rook B1 and A3 as well are moves that I like. Rook E1. Yeah, Rook B1 is definitely something DQ F4. So here's the move. In fact, Knight F4, bro. Like, Rashid was so strong. Again, this is move number one on the engine. Number one. Knight F4. 
He like, yo, trade him, bro. Get him off the board. Get him off the board. He just played knight f4. Just attacking d5, trying to make a weakness somewhere, activate the bishop even more. And after it captures, obvious bishop takes. And if bishop takes b2, that's just not a move. Bishop takes b2, rook b1, and you done. You got to move the bishop out here, rook takes b7. Oh my goodness, bro, this is ridiculous. This is too much. Like, come on, that was too easy. Too easy. So after knight f4, takes, takes, he was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Queen d7, I'm going to defend this. So now I can snap on b2. But then he says, all right, cool, not today. C3, I'm going to block it up now. Make the bishop pretty gross, but I do have a weakness on D3. Castles get out the way, so there's no problems. And now, white to move, folks. Okay, the best defense is offense. So you know D3 is extremely weak here. D3 is, you know, you about to get hit with Rook D8. You know you about to get hit with Rook D8. So you need to do something here. And the best defense is offense, not being passive. So how do you do this? Now, of course, there's many ways. In fact, the engine has three good moves here. What do you choose, though? We have bishop e4, rook e1, queen c2s. We got some queen c2s, queen f3, snap the knight, push the center pawn, says Dante. Now, let's talk about that one. In fact, that one's really bad. Reason being, why would we do this? And then after you push, you just gave yourself a weakness that can be hit. And you have to defend it. And look, we just keep attacking the weakness. And you can start a new game. Walk up, like, like set the board up. Walk away quietly. You know, sign the score sheet. Don't say nothing to nobody. Keep your head down the entire time. This is, that's not a move, right? So, C3, after castles. Um, after castles here. Porf says, Queen A4. Hello, Canty. Good to see you again. Hope you're having a great day. Today's great. And cry in the hotel room. Don't even go to your hotel room. They should just... Yo, check out. I got three more days. Check out. You're done here. You're done. Queen c2, queen e2. Yeah, you can do, uh, in fact, these are moves. Queen c2, queen e2. When you find a good move, look for a better one, though. Look for a better one. In fact, queen a4 is the move. Queen a4, and I like this move a lot because it's active. It's very, very, very active. Now, remember the title, right? The queen is a heat-seeking missile. Uh, imagine how fast right think about a heat seeking missile it's fast it tracks everything it can just be anywhere at any time and it's tracking you and it's very scary right so think about the queen is that now pay a lot of attention to this queen over here on a4 so the queen's on a4 d3 obviously can be captured if queen takes d3 we can even play rook a to d1 first as an in-between move but also bishop takes c6 or even like queen b5 there's just a lot of counterplay in fact let's look at some here here Maybe rook d7 first. Rook d7 hit b7. You can't even defend it, right? I don't even have to take this. This is just absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Right? So queen a4. Queen a4. Rook a to c8. Defending c6. Just defending everything. Rook a to d1. Simple move. We have to defend. And rook f to d8. So looks pretty balanced. In fact, the engine says it is balanced. Equal game. But we do have the bishops as humans here. If you look at this position, bishops for white pointing towards the king, the queen side, bearing down. We have pressure, right? We're, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. So rook f to e1, improve the position. Really not much else to say or do here. And then b6. Now at the b6 here, guys, okay, why some move? This is not one of those like tactics. This is more of strategy, strategic play, and taking over squares and gaining space. Why some move? This will help you with your game right here. Sometimes there's nothing to do. And when there is nothing to do, this is a time where you can improve your position or go more into your enemy's position. You know, there's many things you can do. The light squares are getting weak. B4 from Store Skyder, Queen B5, H4, Queen A6 from Ridoraku, King H2 from G Peters. These are all moves. These are all moves, right? Make you, you want to, you know, make your position just a little bit better. Now, in fact, here the only person that got it right is Reader Raku with Queen A6. Queen A6 here. So taking over some light squares. In fact, the engine, here's the engine moves. Bro, this is crazy. I mean, I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Let me let me show y'all. Look. Okay. What the, what the first move up here? Queen a6. Yo, I don't know. Yo, we're going to have to check some more games from Rashid. 
Rashid been out here working. I, Queen A6? Yo, this was 1953. 1953. And he played Queen A6. The number one engine move. Sockfish approved. Queen A6, bro. The man was definitely underrated. Queen A6. Wow. So, taking over all the light squares, obviously, Queen B7. And it, it's just very bad for, for black here. Rushy has Stockfish 1. He probably was Stockfish 1. Had some influence, obviously. And now, at this point, you know, I always tell students this, too. And it's good to know, if you never heard this before, it's hard to make good moves in a bad position. So, if you are in a bad position, you have to think a little bit harder and notice that. Okay, I am in a bad position. It's going to be harder to make good moves. So, let's think a little bit longer. Or, on the other hand, if you have a good position and you're, you notice that your, your opponent's position is bad, then you notice that it's hard for them to make bad. It's hard for them to make good moves, and it's easier for them to make bad moves. And I say that to say, in this position, Black didn't really know what to do, and he lasts out and played G5. He was like, G5 and we live. Let's go, bro. But G5, don't, hey, bro, that's too much. This is not that kind of position. And when you do something to a position that is not that type or style of position, you're going to get hit with that move. Send a stretcher to his address. We got it on file. That's usually how that's usually how it goes. How do you sneak a mainframe to a match? That's right. I, you know what? 1953, he figured that out. Somehow. Somehow that man figured that out. That that's just nuts. In fact, knight b8 was a better move. Knight b8 was a better move. According to the engine. And in fact, the, the line went like this. Look at this. Check this out. This is supposedly equal after knight b4, queen b7, knight c6, queen a6. The engine's like, yo, repeat. But as a human, you're not trying to repeat this. I got two bishops. Like, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm literally chilling. Like, I'm not I'm not trying to draw this as white. You do have this weakness here, but that can be, you know, neutralized. Even king f1, king e2 sitting here. But you do have to open up the game eventually. So, you know, it's a grind. It's a real grind. And these are the games that take, you know, the absolute longest because you got two bishops. And it's not that, that clear yet, you know. So, after the queen a6 move, though, and g5, some weird stuff. Bishop c1. We just hop out the way. Have a nice day. And we don't want to block the rooks, obviously. So we keep the rooks open. Bishop c1. Best move. Still hitting g5. Knight a5. Stepping out of the way of any type of uh, diagonal stuff here. And look, you got to finish this off, y'all. It's why it's a move here. Remember, we got a heat-seeking missile on the board. So what do we do with this? In fact, the queen is actually trapped right now. So it's why it's a move. What do you do? Who's got the move? Who's got the move? Rook F1 from Rido Rocky. Thanks for the follow up, full minutes. B4 from Store Scrider. Spizza says D4. Queen takes C8. D shot just found a building and jumped off of it. Yo, how do I get to the top? And then just jumped off of it. Queen takes C8. Get the man off the board. Shep MD1. Thanks for the follow up, B4. And we punch. You're bored. <laughs> take that one back, Phantom Master Cleanser. You're going to have to try. You're going to have to take that one back to the drawing board. I like to try, though. I like to try. Thanks for the follow, McNubbits. Yo, yo. B4. Okay. Bishop B7. That's face blockage. 100% premium. Natural. That is not a move. Get the man off the board. B4. Before and we sure <laughs> that one's a little bit better. That was a little bit better. D shot, a little bit better. All right, here's the move. In fact, what he did here, only one person got it right here. D4. That's it. He did D4. Jeff, oh, I see you. Okay, Jeff. Yeah, right there at the buzzer. Petro, thanks for the follow. I'm so smart, sis. Bizza. Yeah, D4. Now, in fact, remember heat seeking missile. Right. This is the title of the video. Remember, we talking about the queen. Heat seeking missile. You know how they move. You know what they do, right? The queen went over here. So let's let's go back to the queen's the queen's route. In fact, right? W what did the, what did the queen do? The queen went over to a4, then she did a6, right? Bam. Then d4 happened. Bam. He captured. And after captures, okay, wait, hold up. First is white to move. C takes d4 is on the board. What are you doing? White to move, folks. You move. What's the move here? Jeffo says we in here. We should one day analyze the game. Let me beat your dad 18. <laughs> so that was the highest level of play I ever did. He says, yeah, we're going to have something coming. Um, four viewers and subscribers. In fact, a series uh, very soon after we complete this one. 
White rooks are like the guidance system for the missile, right? Bishop e4, bishop b1, c takes d4 from me to Rocky, rook d4, and b4 from Spizza. Your friend, courtesy, thanks for the follow. Queen d3, rook e4, c takes b4. You know, that's not, oh, you're talking about d4, I got you. Because I'm like, yo, that's not even a move. Queen d3, <laughs> I'm going to have to start playing good games to get on that series. Yeah, we're going to have subscriber series and analysis games. It's going to be a brain fuel event thing. Not going to say not much more. Not going to say nothing else. Uh, bishop e3, d3, bishop e3. Make large, huge, 55. Thanks for the follow. Silent queen f1. No one has said it. And this is it, right? This is very powerful. Heat seeking missile. Here it is. Boom. Whoa. Right? You know how fast a missile happens? Right, you know how fast pieces move, you know, on chess.com when you're moving pieces and stuff, and like you don't expect something and you're like, oh snap. You know, you ever been scared by a move or startled? Has anyone ever been startled? I know I'm not the only one where you didn't expect the capture or and you know it's quiet around you, you really focus, and they like, bam, oh snap, I didn't know that was that was that was a move. Queenie two, bam, there's the missile to the other side of the board. You know what I'm saying? What's the noise for that? Uh, let me see. Nah, we ain't got no noise. We ain't got we got an air horn, you know. Yeah, yeah. Queens don't do that. Queens don't do that. But you get the, you get it. Missiles don't sound like that. But queenie too. Bam. Whoa. Wait a second. Where's the queen going? What are we doing? Well, let's check. H six. Now you know the man tilted. He played H six, right? He said, what's so good about queen e2? You tell me, fall off God. You tell me. It is white to move here. In fact, it is white to move. Queen g4 says Fenris. Would it be Kanti? Great stream with Ben today. Appreciate you, Extronic. Queen h5 says Spizza, but you're missing a piece. Queen h5, and we live. Let's go. That's right. Queen h5, big fella. Hit that man with a move. Right? Now, look at that heat-seeking missile, big fella. Let's go back from the beginning one more time for the people that didn't see that missile, right? So, you know, you, like, load the little missile up, right? You know what I'm saying? You, like, dust it off or, like, you know, take it out of the infirmary or wherever it is, right? You just take it out of where the missile is. Then we, we set it up, okay? We set it up. Then... You know, we we get it ready to launch, and then we shoot it. Right? Look at that. Look at look at the what is it? <laughs> okay, this is this is not a triangle. <laughs> I can't even draw an arrow over here. Classic right triangle. Right? The classic right triangle from Hikaru. So uh, in a way, some type of some type of shape, but it's definitely a missile. Definitely a missile here after Queen H five, hitting the H six pawn. Hitting the H6 pawn right here. <laughs> right, right, D shock, right. Hitting the H6 pawn here. H6 is trash. Correct. H6 is definitely trash. But again, you have to remember this. It's hard to make good moves in a bad position or a cramped position or when you down material, right? It's, that's an isosceles triangle, right? Whatever. Yeah. Classic bright triangle. That's what Hikaru say. So, you know, we learned that in, in Hikaru school. Young King Benji, thanks for the follow. So h6 is hanging. Obviously, king g7 is played. Simple move. Anyone can find this move. King g7. Now after king g7, white to move, guys. Okay, is it time to take our pawn back? Is it time to take on d4? What do we do now? Bishop to e4 from corporate Gabe. But you have to think about this. You want to always have intention with your moves. So if bishop e4, what is your next move? If I gave you a second one, would you play queen g6? I hope you would, so I can just take it and just stare at you real hard. Very uncomfortable staring right there after queen g6. Because bishop e4 and queen g6 is just not a move. I'm going to take it, and it doesn't work. So bishop e4 may not work. May not work. Spleckler, thanks for the follow. Candy Kane, thanks for the follow. JP Morgan, thanks for the follow. h4, h4, h4. I'm seeing some h4s. I'm seeing an f4. Sorry, that was whiskey. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. H4, 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 H4. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Well, unanimous. H4 for the score. Make threats. Make threats. I tell students, try to make three threats or more in a row. Try to make three threats or more in a row. So if we go back here, in fact, queen h5 is one threat. H4 is a second. And now black plays queen e7 and white to move. Can we make a third? Is it possible? If we can't, then we continue doing uh, the plan or find something better based off the position. White to move. We got bishop e4, f4, bishop takes g5. C takes d4 from Rita Raka. 
Rocky. H4 is better for the bishop retreat, right? Bishop takes g5 from Jeffo. That is some face blockage right there, Jeffo. 100% natural. The, pre the reason for this, though, is, is because you don't have enough pieces. How many pieces does it take for a successful attack, Jeff? You already know this. We didn't talk about this in previous lessons. So you already know how many pieces that takes and count how many pieces you have and what you're sacrificing as well in this attack. And then count it up if it works. Cool, if it don't work, you already know what you did, big fella. Try again. So here it is. C takes D4 is the move, in fact. Just taking the pawn back. There's really nothing here. There's really nothing here right now. I don't have enough on this. The queen's definitely defending. The queen and the bishop definitely defending G5 nicely. The bishop is on this side. The rooks are doing well, but they're not helping in this attack over here on this side of the board. So there's really nothing we can do. So C takes D4. He just said, all right, take my material back with threats of maybe D5. And sort of a slightly kind of equal position still. But black is definitely in, on the uh, bad end of that because of uh, the attack white's putting on him. Fighting for C takes D4, A6, G5. Right. Ricky 4, what's good, Canty? What up, King Psy? Fifth 4, what up, though? So C takes D4 and Knight to C4. Very strong. Put the Knight in the center or closer because it was on the rim. So you want to bring it back. Maybe something like this. This game is so stiffly balanced so far. Correct. In fact, the engine says it's 1.42. Yeah, it's plus 1.5, which is like a pawn and a half. But in human standpoints, I mean, really, like, it's not that much. It really is not that much. But here, as as uh, as you think of this, white's actually doing much better. I would definitely be uh, be good to be uh, white here. So, um, okay. All right. So, d5. You said d5. Nice c4. D5 actually feels pretty good. In fact, that's the number one engine move. But the second one, in fact, was B3. B3. Backspace 206. Thanks for the follow. And B3 was actually the move he chose here. Just to attack the knight. And really, I mean, it kind of helps him go to where he wants to. But after knight D6, then he played D5. So he played D5 right now. Try to open things up. Hi, Bev. Thanks for the follow. And then e5, he said, I don't want you to take, make my structure even worse. e6 is going to be super gross. And now you have weaknesses where, you know, you could potentially use this. So you play e5, lock it up. Let me look at this bishop or pawn, excuse me. Right, it's gross on f6. Now, after e5, guys, okay. Feels like we got the right position. King looking crazy for black. Pieces are pretty well placed. We're attacking, black's just holding. He's just holding, right? Holding all together. Now can you break it open? It is white to move here. Can you find anything? One chest says F4. Bishop A3 from Rita Rocky. Bishop A3. Rick F1 and we won. Okay, that, that's that's okay. That's a nice one. Phantom Master Cleanser. That's okay. You're getting a little better. F4 and we scored. That's nice. That's nice. That's real nice. Yo, let's go. Big shout out to Chess Dojo. Yeah, that's right. Chess Dojo. Yeah, we getting, we were analyzing a game here. Talking about the, the heat-seeking missile that GM Grandmaster Daniel King talked about. So we're looking at a game that demonstrates that. Big shout out to Chess Dojo Live. Simon, GM Simon Chess Twitch. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. And actually, in fact, let's let's get, get everyone caught up. The heat-seeking missile of the queen. The queen started out like this. We're just going to fly through this. Queen a4, right? The queen went to a4. Bam. Then it went over to a6. And then here go the missile, right? Real fast. Bam. Accurate. <sighs> queen e2. Queen h5. All the way to the other side of the board. Heat-seeking missile. Where's the king? Oh, there it is. Get right to it. Queen h5. h4. Fast forward to this position. And now we're on this position, and now it's up to you, chat, to figure this out. We have bishop h3. We have c3. They said we got f4. Thanks for the follow. Center of seven. h takes j5. Bishop h4. f4 from framework. Has anyone else said that either? I think I've only seen a few f4s. f4 and we live. Hero, look, okay, we're going to have to work on, you know, maybe get a dictionary or a thesaurus or something. Syn you know, synonyms. We need to figure that out. Of words that uh, go together because F4 and we live does not rhyme at all, but that's okay. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that. F4 and Blast. All right, <laughs> you funny, you too much. All right, here it is. Here it is. F4. Actually, that's exactly what happened. It was supposed to. It's rhyming. Yeah, it is rhyming. 
F4. There it is. Bam. F4 is on the board. Great move here. Look at this explosive move. Explosive. Bam. 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 I mean, just everything hit out here. Everything hit. F4. I like it. <laughs> yeah, and there's more. Okay. Y'all, too much. Love it. Nah, I love it. Now, after F4 here, here, again, it's hard to make good moves in a bad position. A cramp position or when you're getting swung at imagine like you're trying to do something and somebody just swinging at you just literally imagine that for a second somebody is swinging at you with all of their might trying to knock you out right what you can you really focus right then yo you call it it's going to take a lot of focusing so what he did here was what anyone would really do in fact especially under pressure like this is g takes f4 this is just losing though in fact the best move which is very hard to find here and it's very strange is allowing him to take on g5 e4 which follows f takes g5 h takes takes and bishop c3 hitting the rook queen h6 king g8 rook e2 and knight f5 and white is only a march a hair better only a hair better like literally just a hair better right but this is engine analysis looking at this as a human you're like bro somebody about to get knocked out you know it was coming next rashi swinging like mike tyson haymakers uppercuts left-handed that was the strongest if you didn't know absolutely can't do what's up yo real d hey the real dj ak47 what's up welcome to the stream hey let's get a shout out to her in the chat yo big shout out to the real dj ak47 what up though bishop takes f4 yeah so this that's not it though that's not it they, they didn't go like that but back here after f4 after this f4 move happens like legit he just took on f4 he literally just took on f4 all right literally just took on f4 what i'm telling you let me show her out bro there it is i'm like come on bro we we got it thanks fan of house of uh private do us you did a great job announcing chess.com earlier you want to find go make a good pair yeah appreciate it man yeah, we have to do this i'm gonna drop this to youtube make sure y'all subscribed and then um i'm going to do uh i have to do commentary in the morning so i gotta get some sleep because i gotta get up early um so here oh let's go back let's go back hello canty what up keaton briggs welcome to the stream f4 so after f4 right and anyone here you are literally under pressure and you get swung at what else you gonna do right so g takes f4 he takes it after g takes f4 okay chat it's on you now what do you do is white to move Hello, Canty. What's up? On the wheels of the steel. <laughs> Stop. King side five four. Thank you for the love. No problem. Real DJ AK four seven. Let me hit you with that VIP. Hold up. Let me DJ AK forty seven. I saw you on IG. I saw your post. About the uh, the last one. It was lit. Lit stream. G takes F four. We coming in the door. Okay, I like that hero. I like that a lot. That's nice. That's nice. Bishop takes f4. That's right. That's right. Bam. There it go. Hit that man with a move. H6 is hanging now. H6 is for real. Bishop takes h6. So maybe it's something like rook h8, which actually happens. Rook h8 defends the h6 pawn. And now what, chat? Come on. All right. Where are all my um, where are all my attacking players at? Have you did your tactics today? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's on you now. It's on you. Looks like it's time to shake and bang, right? <laughs> Queen G4, Bishop, Bishop E5, Bishop takes E5, G4, Queen G4, that's a checkster. Rook takes E5, Rook E5, we got another Rook E5, Bishop takes E5, okay, okay. Let's see what happens on Bishop takes E5. Okay, so it's not losing. Rook takes E5 on the board and we live. Okay, that was too many words. That was like... Rook takes e5 on the board and uh, 64 pieces and 16 and white black and we live. Just not just you, it has to be shortened. But pretty nice. Read read it, Rocky. You working on it? You working on it? Rook h8 defending h6. Yep. And here it is. Here it is. Bishop e5 still works. The better move when you find a good move, you look for a better one. Obviously, here it is. Bam! Hit that man with a move. Rook takes e5. Oh my goodness. Rook takes e5, hitting the queen, obvious. Very obvious here. So you don't take. Let's see what happens if he does, though. Well, if takes, how do you take this chat? Bishop or queen? Hurry up. Fast, fast. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Fast, fast. Queen or bishop? Queen or bishop? 
queen or bishop we got rook takes e5 we got bishop we got bishop okay b b b b man man trick question there we go finally people are saying queen bishop takes does work bishop takes does work queen takes is actually a little bit easier because you get a piece but bishop takes i guess you could take here f6 and queen g4 it just takes longer right king f7 and now you still have to work this position think about that you still have to work this or you could go this route after uh queen takes e5 queen takes e5 hitting a piece obviously hitting the queen as well after snap snapsters hit this boy too we queen in i mean it's a simpler way of doing things simpler just slightly just slightly just slightly at, at least according to the engine as well though but rook takes e5 after rook takes e5 queen d7 moving out the way so not the queen's not hit anymore obviously and now chat all right cool hey finish it off you know people don't give up right so imagine in your own games right this is happening i'm sure this might have happened to you today playing the game you winning you know you're hitting this man with a move get this man a stretcher right now and like you just lose right you have to finish this off and of course these kind of games can always help you in finishing techniques it is white to move what do you do bishop h3 who she the a up this a up yeah you definitely had one of them games today Yep, you was just completely winning and then just jumped off the building. Somebody get him. Oh my goodness. That's not a move. There's a moment I don't even see a move. <laughs> this is three. Ricky one. Okay. You tell me which rook? This one, we talk about dub on the bub or this rook? Ricky six. Oh, Ricky six is cute. I mean, it don't work though. It don't actually work. The bishop not even here yet. Bishop not even here. That's cool though. I think it looked pretty cool though. Rook DDE, you talking about Rook DDE? Silent A3, I guess for most of them, but didn't look certain. Rook F5. I mean, yeah, Rook F5 is uh, blocking with your face. Not a move. Rook G5 looks looks cool, but again, I mean, I can just take. In fact, if you look at that, spink, GG, queen hit, bishop hit, everything must go. So I'll start a new one. Don't even, let's just get that off the screen right now. Rook E6. Yeah, Rook E6, in fact, doesn't work. It'd be different if the bishop was here, but it's kind of funny how even right now the engine likes Ricky six. Not like a, oh, you still crushing this man. It's more like, I guess you're going to get away with it, right? That's what they're saying right now because it's a huge difference. Now, let's see what happens on captures. Obviously, you have queen g4. You can even take and take on d6. It's kind of nasty how all this is lined up, but Ricky six is not it. <laughs> you know, I did miss the D. I did miss it. D shock. I'm so accustomed to seeing the silent moves in the chat that I literally didn't even didn't even see it. Rook takes e5, queen d7. After queen d7, here's the move. This was kind of not not the easiest. In fact, and this one, in fact, here the number one. Let me give you all the move orders. Number one, rook f1 from from the engine. Number two, rook d2 from the engine, and number three is rook e to e1 so bring it all the way back from the engine but what uh yeah, it was a silent move so let's get your silent emotes in the chat okay it's that time for you guys if you got your silent emotes put your silent emote in the chat for this move right here this is what he played rookie two lerp 88 thanks for the prime my guy yo thanks for the prime because this time i appreciate you thanks for that we got a uh, yeah the silent emotes there they go the silent rookie too very silent in fact i don't even know why he played rookie too like i am definitely like okay you know kind of baffled there i would have definitely played rookie one like maybe just rookie one sit here I, i'm not moving this rook or i'm even giving it up for like check but i'm I'm not doing it right i was either here or here maybe maybe even king h2 to play bishop h3 but rook f7 is kind of rook c2 is kind of nasty so that's a no-no, my guy. So Rook takes e5. He played Rook e2. There we go, though. What's up, cuz? What's up, center seven? What's good? What's good? So after Rook e2, Rook h7. Again, you know, trying to do whatever he can. Maybe bring this Rook over here. Tuck the king on f8. What's the, uh, what's the difference with Rook e6? Rook e6 does work. But are you talking about the um, the engine analysis? Right now it's plus five. Rook e6 goes down to plus two. Still winning. But that's a big difference, right? That's a big difference with plus five. This computer taking account uh, rhyme ability of moves. You know what? The rhyme ability of moves. There's a computer. We're working on that, J-Rod. We're actually getting a, our own uh, Jedi engine, right? And that's going to be put in there, and it's going to talk to you as you make the moves and make the rhymes for you. Correct. Yeah. Rick, uh, Ricky, too. 
Rick H7. After Rick H7, all right, chat, keep it up. There's only like a few moves that, uh, in fact, literally one or two from here. But Stockfish 15 rhymes. <laughs> you funny, then they're 21. Why to move? Why to move? All right, chat, finish this off. Finish this off. Don't botch this. Don't mess this up. Okay, this is this is it. You got this. Don't mess this up. What do you do? King H2 from Chess Rabbit. Bishop takes D6. Don't doubt in my mind, says Rita Rocky. Bishop takes D6, says Lego. Snap the knight. Bishop E4. G4. Bishop H3. Does that work? G4 and Bishop H3 or Bishop H3, G4? What do you mean? Bishop takes D4. D Bishop takes D6. Queen G4. Rook D to E1. Dub on the file. I feel it. Bishop F3. You hitting the queen. Are you trying to go Bishop G4? We got Bishop E4, Bishop E5, Bishop E5, Silent G4. All right, here it is. Here it is. A few of y'all got it in the chat. A few of y'all did get it. Here it is. Bam. Always the forcing moves first. If you can make it forcing, 100% is usually better. Thanks for the follow, Mike Reeds. What up, though? Bishop takes D6 is a big boy move. Thank you for the material. Appreciate it. It's an everything must go sale. I got two bishops looking very, very sharp. And if queen takes D6, you already know what it is. Queen G4, easy. Light work. Appreciate you. Takes the rook. GG. Double attack. Game's over. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty nice. So rook e2, and he took, and queen g4. Now, of course, bishop takes d6. This is where he resigned. So Rashid won right here. Right? Or he won against Leveronin, right? But remember, remember, this is the heat-seeking missile of the queen. So again, if you're just catching this, this is what happened. Again, number one, you can play this weird Sicilian here. With this G3 system, sort of a closed Sicilian, but then he made it very flexible with this knight C3 again, right? And then he moved the knight again over to E2. Very strange and literally just kind of playing off the head, not telling black where I'm going to move my pieces and what my plan is yet. Very smart way of playing. Takes, takes. And then uh, we got this position. Fast forward. Queen E4. Well, I'll give it the strong bishop. Never come to my mind. Right. Absolutely. But, uh, it, you know, it's always exceptions in chess. That's what I tell students. So after queen a6, and then bam, right here, queen e2. Here's the heat seeking missile part. Queen e2, queen h5. Literally, it took two moves for the queen to get over here to the queen side and deliver devastating results because of it, right? So remember it as a heat seeking missile. Obviously, that's going to help you in your games. And the rest is just history here as we start attacking and shellacking and the game is over here. GG start a new one. Whew. And that was nice. So I hope y'all learned something from today's analysis.